I recently reviewed the Huawei MateBook X Pro and I loved it so much I gave it my Editor's Choice Award because it was the most forward-thinking laptop in a long time, really checking all the boxes you'd want in an ultra portable. But I also had my eye on this. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 6th generation, new for 2018. Uh, it's been out for a few months already and they've been having some great sales, so I picked one up. This is their top of the line model with the 14 inch HDR Dolby Vision display. And when I tell you this thing is absolutely gorgeous as far as the display is concerned, I'm not kidding. I thought it was an OLED display. It's not, it's an LCD panel, but it has some of the best colors I've ever seen. One of the brightest displays I've ever seen. It's simply that good. It also has the legendary ThinkPad keyboard. It's gotta be the standard going forward on any laptop. It's that good. It's certainly best in class. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon 6th generation for 2018. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? I think you know the drill by now. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification icon alerting you every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter to get all the latest updates. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 6th generation starts at about $1,200. I'll put the link below for more information on where you can get one. The unit I'm reviewing today is the one with that 2K HDR Dolby Vision display. It's powered by the Intel Core i7-8650U CPU with vPro, and it has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. Now we'll talk about performance in just a little bit, but right now let's find out what you get in the box. Let's open it up. Now opening the lid, you're greeted by the laptop itself. Now opening these flaps, you'll actually see how the laptop is raised to sort of greet you in a sense. And it's kind of an interesting, really cool aspect of how to give you a really nice unboxing experience. Good job Lenovo in that department. Now holding the unit for the first time, you realize this is a very high-end, very premium device, really top-notch build, overall really sleek looks. You get some documentation and warranty information in the box and your power supply. It's 65 watts and it charges via USB Type-C. You also get an extension cord. We'll talk more about battery life and charging times later in this review. At around 1.12 kilograms or 2.48 pounds, this is a very thin and light ultra portable. It really feels great in the hands. Carbon fiber exterior is really nice to the touch, although it is a major fingerprint magnet. Made from a combination of carbon fiber and magnesium, the X1 Carbon is not only light, but also extremely durable. According to Lenovo, the laptop has passed a dozen mil standard 810G durability tests, including those of extreme temperatures, shocks, and vibrations. And it has a fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello login. It worked okay. It also has an LED indicator letting you know it's active. Now, when it comes to connectivity and ports, I don't think you'll be disappointed as well. On the left side of the device, you have two Thunderbolt 3 ports that support four lanes. You can do data, charge, and display out. You can drive multiple 4K monitors. The side dock where you can connect the proprietary docking station from Lenovo, a USB 3.0 Type-A, and an HDMI port. On the right side, you have a USB 3.0 Type-A and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Worked well with no interference or any kind of static. And on the back, you have your SIM tray, which you'll put your micro SD card slot. And if you choose the LTE model, that's where you'll put your SIM card as well. Now, I decided to go with this highest end display option. It has that 14 inch HDR Dolby Vision display. It's an IPS display, not an OLED display, but you wouldn't know it when you look at it. It is simply stunning. With a resolution of 2560 by 1440, you're looking at about 210 pixels per inch, and it has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now they do have a 1080p model. They also have a 2K model with a touch display, which is also a matte display. This is a glossy display without touch. Now, when you're going with this HDR Dolby Vision display, there is no touch option. So keep that in mind when choosing your display. And I'm glad I went with this display because this Dolby Vision HDR is simply off the charts. Now it's also a very bright display at 475 nits. Although it's claimed 500 nits by Lenovo, it's still extremely bright beating out its competition in this category. 
and creative professionals will certainly love this because it covers the color gamut extremely well. At 199% sRGB, this trounces its competition and is certainly well above the category average of 114%. And as far as Adobe RGB, you're looking at 100% in that category as well. So all you creative professionals, videographers, photographers will certainly love this display. And I'm happy to report the side bezels are actually pretty thin, giving it a really nice look. Now there is a front facing webcam, it's not infrared on the HDR display and there is a shutter on it that you can close when you want more security. That's perfect for your business users out there. So this is the front facing camera on the Lenovo X1 Carbon. It's uh, sixth generation of course, this is the latest here in 2018. This, this laptop by the way is just freaking fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. And this camera is okay. It's a 720p, 30 frames per second. Uh, they do have that shutter that you can close for privacy. It does have a little switch there. It's a mechanical switch, not anything uh, electric or anything like that. So you will have to physically move the switch from one position to the other, but it does give you that privacy that a lot of business users will certainly require. But I want to know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. It's, you know what, look, it'll get the job done for Skype, for any kind of video conferencing. Certainly business users would want to use this as well as consumers. But again, I want to know what you think. Leave a comment in that comment section below. And here's a feature I wish all laptops had. You can lie the screen all the way flat, and it also has a very sturdy hinge giving you just the right angle you want. This is an absolute must have in laptops going forward. I just wish others would follow suit. Now when it comes to performance, you won't be disappointed. My unit that I'm reviewing has the Core i7-8650U CPU with vPro. Take a look at some of these benchmarks, see how there's your results compared to some of its competition. It certainly held its own. And the SSD performed really well. Good reads and writes on the Crystal Disk Mark test. Check it out for yourself. You don't buy a business laptop with integrated graphics and expect to play intense games, but the X1 Carbon's Intel UHD 620 GPU is good enough for low-end titles. But then again, it's not going to run those AAA games. You want something with a dedicated GPU in that instance. Now for the most part, thermals are actually very good. Things stay very cool. There is a fan inside and it will kick in under heavy load. Now under extreme heavy load, under heavy stress test, as you see here, the one that Notebook Check did, you can see it does get hot, but that's not the normal case scenario. That's not what you do for everyday use. Under those normal scenarios, you will be okay as far as thermals are concerned. It will get hot though under heavy load. And Lenovo made it really easy to access the inside of the device. All you need to do is loosen a few screws, remove the back plate, and you're in. Now the SSD is socketed in, so if you want to swap it out for a different one, you can, as well as the Wi-Fi card, that is socketed in as well. Now the RAM is soldered on, so you won't be able to upgrade that. So when you do check out, make sure you get enough RAM for your use. Now here's the slot where you can put your LTE modem. If that's the option you chose, that's obviously where it will be. You may be able to put your own LTE modem in. Um, that might be an option. But again, I don't have the LTE model, but it would be nice to have an LTE modem on this device. That's for sure. You have two speakers on the bottom, as you can see there, and you have your 57 watt hour battery. Now, speaking of battery life, let's talk about it right now because it is really good. On my continuous web surfing test with 150 nits over Wi-Fi, you're looking at around 10 hours and 35 minutes, which is certainly best in class. And it's certainly better than the category average of eight hours and 23 minutes. He beat out one of my favorites, the MateBook X Pro, which I recently reviewed. Now, Lenovo claims you're going to get an 80% charge in around 60 minutes with the supplied 65 watt hour charger. I didn't quite get that. I got 80% in 70 minutes and a total charge. You're looking at around 2 hours and 20 minutes. That's what I got. There are two speakers located on the bottom towards the front and they're so-so. They're mediocre at best. They're not great. They're not terrible, but they don't have a lot of bass. They're a little bit tinny in my opinion, and they don't fill up the room very loud. Now let's hear it in action to give you an example of just how they sound.
The ThinkPad X1 Carbon offers this world-class keyboard that we've come to expect from Lenovo's business laptops. With a deep 1.8 millimeters of key travel and a strong two grams of actuation, that's the amount of force required for a key press, the keys offer excellent tactile feedback and never cause me to bottom out during testing. And the soft touch deck also made my wrist feel really good while typing. This has got to be the best keyboard I've ever used on an ultra portable and for a laptop for that matter. And it has a multi-stage backlight which worked really well, excellent for use in a dark or dimly lit environment. As with other ThinkPads, the X1 Carbon offers a red track point that sits between the G and H keys. Using this pointing stick to navigate is more efficient and precise than using any touchpad, in my opinion. I always end up using the track point instead of the trackpad because it's more comfortable in my opinion, but not everybody feels that way and it's a matter of personal preference. Now, as far as the touchpad is concerned, I thought it was nicely sized. It was very responsive, extremely accurate throughout my testing. It didn't exhibit any kind of jumpiness or any kind of stickiness, and overall it worked really good. It also responded smoothly and immediately to my multi-touch gestures, as well as pinch to zoom and three finger swipe. If you want to invoke Cortana or Alexa when it arrives on Windows later, you can do so from across the room. The X1 Carbon's built-in far-field microphones promise to pick up your voice from as far as 13 feet away. The ThinkPad X1 Carbon remains the ultimate business ultrabook thanks to its gorgeous design, awesome typing experience, long battery life, and epic screen. However, it can get expensive, especially if you go for that 2K HDR Dolby Vision display. And if your budget is a little bit tight, you may want to consider the Dell XPS 13. That starts at just $999 and offers an optional 4K display, something that you can't get on the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, although that HDR display is simply stunning. However, if you want the best business laptop that money can buy, look no further than the X1 Carbon. I'm going to give it a score of 92%, making the X1 Carbon worth your money. So what do you think about the Lenovo X1 Carbon 6th generation? Two things stand out for me. Number one, the HDR Dolby Vision display is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Samsung stopped producing the OLED displays that was in last year's model for that high-end display. So they went with an LCD panel, but I can tell you there's very little difference between the OLED display and this sharp LCD display. It's got to be one of the best displays I've ever seen. It's that good. It covers the color gamut extremely well, probably better than any other laptop display I've reviewed in the last couple of years. It's that good. The other thing that stands out to me is that legendary ThinkPad keyboard. It's so good that every other ultra portable should copy this. And it puts Apple to shame, to be honest. Uh, they are able to put in a less than three pound device, one of the best key travels I've had on a laptop of this size, 1.8 millimeters, which is excellent. They're comfortable to type on. They're evenly spaced out. They're nicely spaced out. And I really was able to get a lot of work done in a productivity manner because of this keyboard. It's that good. I also love the track point. I wish more manufacturers would include a track point similar to this. Uh, again, I can't say enough good things about this laptop. Throw in some excellent battery life. It's built like a tank. Lenovo put it through a series of tests for that mill standard A10G that it earned. And I can tell you, this thing is really rock solid as far as build quality. The only thing is this magnesium alloy carbon fiber exterior is a major fingerprint magnet. You probably can see it on video right now. It's very hard to keep clean. So you may want to pick up the silver version as opposed to the black, but I actually like this iconic black, this onyx black, I think is what they call it. And it is fantastic at 2.48 pounds. This thing is super light, super portable. I can't say enough good things. This is one of my favorite business laptops of all time. It's maybe even one of my best ultra portables of all time as well. It is very expensive. This model, I did get on sale. I got about $350 off on a sale they were having, 15% off I believe I got, and it came in just under $2,000. With tax, it was about $2,100, so it is a lot to pay, but you are getting the best of the best as far as I'm concerned. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. I am curious to know. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.